guys, this is Tom from Tom Tutorials here today, and guess what? Today, we're gonna be looking at an awesome map that I made, and I just wanted to make a demo for you guys so that everybody on Steam, you're welcome guys, knows what this map is really about. And right now, I'm at, and I quote the crappy spawn planet that I made <laughs> as some shrubs. You know, I didn't really want to put too much into the spawn world, so anyways, at least the Stargate's called Spawn, which I fixed in an update that I recently made. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to a random world. Let's go to uh, Stargate Command. So actually, just to make this go a little bit faster, I'm going to go to Misc Weapons and grab my Nox hands real quick. And for this map to actually work, you need the Stargate Carters add-on pack, which you can find on Steam. It's really easy to find. There are a lot of things you need to subscribe to the collection, and then it will work. So let's go to Stargate Command. For all you Stargate fans out there, this is the map for you. I combined a lot of things, and I even improved a lot of things. Uh, from different maps. So now let's start with the first thing. So obviously I added doors, you know, because we need doors. So this is not really that important. Grab that from SG1 in the fifth race. But now what I did, I don't think any other map has this. Any of these red panic alarms, as soon as you click them, this is what happens. You get that awesome okay. You get that awesome panic alarm sound and you know you can turn it off with this. These are just some quick things to lock the gate room doors. As you know, you cannot go there and really unlock them. And it's just a quick thing that I made. Didn't really feel like working too hard on that. And then this map, this actually, this SGC is awesome, this fire command, because you can actually break this glass. If it would not lag. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. So then we have a panic button there. We have, you know. There's supposed to be a door here, I'm going to put one there, and then there's going to be doors here, the, all these panic buttons work, owned by world, stuff like that, and then you know, it's just SGC, there's going to be an elevator, like, down there soon that actually works, this is just temporary, and the alarm goes out through the whole base, you know, this is Hammond's office, which is quite empty, I think he moved out or something, let's just go through the window real quick. <laughs> So, yeah, there are doors everywhere. There's even like this big glass door thing. I was like, yeah, let's do it because it's cool. Yeah, and this opens up again. A bunch of doors around the map. There's even like this room. There's a panic alarm just in case your person you're uh, holding you know, escapes. And yeah, this is pretty much Stargate Command. So, let's go to a different planet right now. So there are quite a few worlds currently, so right now let's go to, uh, let's see we can dial Atlantis from here, but let's actually go to Icarus, that's the place where you go to Destiny from, for Stargate Universe fans, yeah. So here's Icarus space, there's the Rush whiteboard, which is quite bright, I don't know why. Some stuff, there's like the cable lining, there's like the blue, it's quite bright in here, I need to fix that. And stuff, you know. Basically, Icarus base. So now let's go to Midway. Grab this from uh, another map. So here we go. We got the Midway station. Let's just uh, added a few things. There's this alarm, for example, which is gonna have better buttons, but you know, self-destruct alarm. All right, let's go to this alarm. Incoming off roll activation alarm. Then we have the gate. So now let's actually go to Praxion, which I don't know the address because it's currently privated. I gotta fix that. And Praxion's gonna look way better. It's just right now, it's just kind of the early development stages. Kind of like the like ground's kind of weird. Anyway, so there is a ring platform right here, which will bring you to the ancient lab, which you know makes so much sense. So let's just do that. Oh yeah. So we're in something courtesy of SG1, the fifth race, that, that pretty nice map. This stasis pod, I'm hoping to get this working soon. Couldn't really get it working yet. Some consoles, some screens, basic kind of ancient lab if you want to have a base here. I was, I was having base wars and my friend Joe, he played on, he played in this, he made a base in that ancient lab. I was having some trouble getting there. 
he's defending it pretty well. Alright, so we are in here, so now let's go, let's go back to Midway, so now we're gonna go to the Pegasus Galaxy. Oh yeah, let's just go to Atlantis, courtesy of another map maker. So we are in Atlantis, and he made it awesomely because Windows Break is awesome. I added an alarm, self-destruct, and added a few consoles, you know, DHD, you know, kind of basic Atlantis, there's pretty much everything, even that roof bay opens, I mean, this is pretty much from that, the other guy's map, it's really awesome though, he, I gotta give him props for making an amazing map, alright, so now we're gonna go to the Jani homeworld, uh, let's just go over here, here we go, yeah, so we're in the Jani homeworld, pretty much that one place that you would see when, uh, when they were like farmers and when uh, the Atlantis team like found the uh, like their world they thought they were just farmers and then they turned out they had a hatch that actually goes to underground you know this is actually gonna open soon I'm gonna have it underground which is gonna be really awesome I think it'll be a really awesome place to make a base that you can like even if you like role play you can be like oh yeah I'm just just this little farming community but in reality they're actually really dangerous. Alright, so now we're gonna go, okay, let's just go to Icarus base. Alright, so from here you can dial Destiny. Let me just go grab the address of Destiny. Uh, where is it? That's the skybox. Midway station. That's Stargate Command. Oh, wait, Destiny's like somewhere over here. Oh, yeah, there it is. I'm not gonna allow you guys to look at it yet. It's gonna be a surprise. Okay. It's kind of bright in here though, so I gotta fix that. <laughs> Alright, so let me just grab that address, and we're gonna go to Destiny from the Icarus base. This is what Dr. Rush intended. This is what Destiny intended for the moment they entered the star system. Alright, 89D75, so let's just dial this real quick. 89D75. Uh, this address might change in fact, so guys don't rely on this address. Here we go. Chevron 9 locked! Alright, let's go. Holding. Here we are, we are in Destiny. It's kind of bright. Let's turn that brightness down, but you know, kind of basic Destiny. As I like, uh, Put like your apple core in here, whatever kind of thing you want. Uh, let's just put that in here. Oh yeah, control interface room. And you know you can put your doors down. You can put them like I didn't want to put the doors down. You know one of the people they were like, yeah. So it looks like Destiny lost its doors. They ejected their doors. They must have like ejected them into space. And I was like, no, they, that didn't happen. So then there's this room. There's probably going to be like corridors and like the stasis pods where, you know, like Eli left us hanging, which was kind of sad. That made me really sad. Yeah, but this is Destiny so far. I probably got to fix this bug where you can see Atlantis from the outside and these windows are kind of weird. Anyways, so like, yeah, we're not really next to Atlantis. That would be kind of cool if Destiny met up with Atlantis. That I would just love that. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much my demo kind of reel of my map. And this is not supposed to be possible, but let's just dial Atlantis. Woo! All right. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to thumb it up. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll leave a link to this map in the description. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Yeah.